Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You go to space for evidence-based health tips that actually work. Today we are diving deep into one of the most talked about medicinal plant in the world, ginger. Now we all know ginger as a fragrant addition to stir fries or that cozy ingredient in herbal tea. But what you might not know is that ginger is backed by real science when it comes to health. It's been studied extensively for its potential to support digestions, reduce inflammation, and even help with chronic conditions that affect millions worldwide. And we're not just talking about vague wellness claims. We are talking clinically studied effects on things like nausea, joint pain, and even blood sugar. But here's the deal. Ginger is not a miracle cure and is not safe for everyone. That's right, there are actually scenarios where ginger can do more harm than good, especially if you are on a certain medication or have specific health issues. That's why it's so important to understand both the benefits and the risk before adding it to your routine. So stick with me because by the end of this video, you will know the top four science back benefits of ginger, the condition it may help but still need more research on, and most importantly, when you should avoid ginger completely. Let's dive into the truth about ginger, what it can actually do for your health, and when you need to think twice before using it. Ginger's journey as a healing plant didn't start yesterday. In fact, it's been used in over 5,000 years in traditional medicine system around the world from Ayurveda in India to traditional Chinese medicine to even ancient Egyptian remedies. Ancient practitioners didn't have a tool of modern science, but they observed patterns like how ginger helped with digestions, reduce fevers, or soothe muscle ache. And here's a fascinating part. Modern science is finally catching up. So what makes ginger so special? The answer lies in the bioactive compound especially gingerol and shagol. These are the chemical powers responsible for ginger's anti-inflammatories, antioxidant and anti-nausea properties. Let's start with the big questions. What does the actual research say? These four health benefits are consistently supported by clinical studies. First, ginger is probably best known for its ability to fight nausea. And it's not just an old wife's tale. A 2014 meta-analysis that reviewed multiple clinical trials found that ginger is more effective than a placebo at reducing nausea caused by pregnancy, chemotherapy, motion sickness, and post-operative recovery. In some studies, ginger even outperformed vitamin B6, which is often recommended for pregnancy-related nausea. Second, if you or someone you know suffer from knee osteoarthritis, listen up. Several clinical trials have shown that ginger extract can reduce joint pain, improve mobility and lower inflammation markers like CRP and TNF-alpha. Ginger doesn't just mask the pain, it targets the inflammation underneath. Third, now this one is a big deal, especially with type 2 diabetes on the rise globally. In human studies, ginger has been shown to help lower fasting blood sugar, improve HbA1c, which is long-term blood sugar control, and reduce insulin resistance. A 2020 study found that taking 1,600 to 2,000 mg of ginger powder daily for 12 weeks had a significant impact on glycemic markers. But let's be clear, ginger is not a substitute for your diabetes meds. It's a complement, not a cure. Fourth, ginger is packed with antioxidants that help fight oxidative stress, which contribute to aging, heart disease, and even some cancers. In fact, ginger extract has been found to increase the body's own antioxidant enzymes, like superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. That's a fancy way of saying ginger helps your cells recover and stay resilient. Now, let's talk about the gray area. These are health benefits where the early results are exciting, but we don't have enough solid data yet to fully recommend ginger for them. Some small studies suggest that ginger may improve liver enzyme level and insulin resistance in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But larger, long-term trials are still needed. Ginger also shows promise in lab model of lupus, Crohn disease, and ulcerative colitis, thanks to its anti-inflammatory effect. However, animal and cell studies aren't enough, so we need robust human trials. 
Lab studies have found that ginger extract can slow the growth of colorectal cancer cells, but don't jump to conclusion. This doesn't mean ginger can treat or prevent cancer in humans. It's promising, but very early stage. Ginger is generally safe when used in food or even in moderate supplement doses. But here is where you really need to pay attention, because for certain people, ginger can actually be risky. Ginger has a natural blood thinning effect. So if you are taking medication like warfarin, aspirin or clopidogrel, it could increase your risk of bruising your internal bleeding. Also, because ginger can lower blood sugar and blood pressure, it might cause those levels to drop too low if you are already medicated. So always talk to your doctor before adding ginger supplement. If you have gallstones, ginger stimulates beer production, which is great for digestions, but can aggravate symptoms or trigger pain episodes. Lastly, doctors often advise stopping ginger supplement one to two weeks before surgery because of its anticoagulant properties, which can increase bleeding risk during or after the procedures. Okay, so let's say you are not any of this risk group. How can you safely include ginger in your daily routine? For general wellness, fresh ginger can be used about 1 to 2 inches per day, sliced into tea or added to meal. Ground ginger powder can be taken in amount of about a quarter to half a teaspoon daily. Drinking 1 to 2 cups of ginger tea daily is also common. For targeted support like for arthritis, nausea or metabolic health, standardized ginger extract is typically taken at dose of 250 to 1000 mg 2 to 3 times daily. Most clinical studies run for about 8 to 12 weeks with these doses. Here's a pro tip, start with a low dose, especially if you're new to supplement. Watch for side effects like heartburn, stomach discomfort, or potential drug interactions. So what's the bottom line? Is ginger a miracle cure? No. Is it a powerful evidence-based supportive tool for things like nausea, inflammations, and metabolic health? Absolutely, when used responsibly. Just remember, no herb replaces medical treatments. Ginger works best as a part of a bigger picture, a healthy diet, regular exercise, and appropriate medical care. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumb up, hit subscribe, and share it with a friend who loves natural health tips. I would love to hear from you. How do you use ginger? As tea? In cooking? Supplement? Drop a comment below. Stay informed, stay balanced, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.